Example 1.5. The velocity distribution of a flow of a Newtonian fluid between two wide parallel plates is given by this equation, where v is the mean velocity, y is the vertical coordinate system, and h is the distance between the midplane and the walls. We need to determine the shear and the stress acting at the bottom of the plate as well as the location in the midplane. In order to calculate the shear stress, we're going to use the formula equal to tau equal mu du dy. We have a velocity profile. If we multiply it out, we simply obtain 3v divided by 2 minus 3v divided by 2 y squared h squared. We multiply it out so that it's easier to take the derivative since that's the next step and is required to calculate the shear stress. So we calculate the u dy and we obtain negative 3v y over h squared. Therefore, the general value of tau is going to be negative uh, mu 3v y over h squared. If we substitute the values that we know for viscosity, velocity, and the value of h, we obtain the following. Tau is equal to 0 0.04 pounds second beta square negative, and we have a 3, and we got the velocity, which is 2 feet per second. We got the value of y, which is a variable, and we divide by the value of h, which is equal to 0.2, and this is inches, and then we square it. Please note that because we have feet and inches, we have to convert one into the other one, and what we're going to do is we're going to do 12 inches, and since it's a square, we're going to do a square, and that is equal to one foot square. After you multiply everything out, the value of tau in terms of y is going to give you a negative 864y. And the units that we're going to have are going to be pounds per feet cube. Let's now evaluate the shear stress at the different points. At the bottom, the value of y is going to be equal to negative 0.2 inches. If we substitute it into this equation, tau is going to be negative 864 times 0.2 inches. We do the conversion that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. And remember that the units are pound per feet cube. Therefore, the value that we get at the bottom is going to be equal to 14.4 pounds per foot square. If we now do the calculation at the midpoint, y is equal to 0 inches. Therefore, the value of the shear stress is also going to be equal to 0. Please make sure that you go back and able to do the derivation for tau by doing the proper uh, derivative of the velocity and substitute the, the values of y properly also emphasize in the ability to transfer the units from inches to feet and inches square to feet square.